Maya Davidson are celebrating the 120th anniversary with nine models for 2023 and we're going to have a closer look at some of them. The anniversary lineup consists of motorcycles offered with the anniversary paint color finish combination that hails from the early Harley Davidson motorcycles. This color finish features classic painted panels with a gleaming heirloom red as a base color. A bright red pinstripe outlines the panels with a dark midnight crimson fade. Other details include our seat covers with red side panels and gold embroidered Harley Davidson logo. Red fade powertrain inserts and a Art Deco Eagle Tank medallion. The 120th anniversary design will be offered in limited numbers for the following models. The Fat Boy anniversary 114 cubic inch engine and there will be 3000 units offered. The Heritage Classic anniversary 114 cubic inch engine and there will be 1700 units offered. The Street Glide Special Anniversary with only 1,600 units being produced. The Rogue Light Special Anniversary with only 1,600 units being produced globally. The Ultra Limited Anniversary with production limited to 1,300 units globally. And the Tri Glide Ultra Anniversary with only 1,100 units being produced globally. The CVR Road Glide Anniversary model celebrates the 120th anniversary with a distinctive paint scheme ever offered by Harley Davidson. Panels in heirloom red painted over a black anniversary base coat, outlined with a bright red pinstripe and a hand painted gold scallop. The portrayal of a soaring eagle's head and wings are subtle details you will find on the front ferry. The Rogue Glide is fitted with a 117 cubic inch twin cooled Milwaukee 8 engine, pushing out 76 kilowatt at 4,750 rest per minute and 169 newton meters of torque. The fuel consumption is 5.7 liters per hundred kilometers, with a tank range of about 377 kilometers from a 22.7 liter tank. Weight weight is almost half a ton at 437 kilograms, which gives you a power to weight ratio of 0.174 kilowatt per kilogram. The breakout makes a return appearance boasting its chopper profile look. It brings a fresh new look with updated powertrain and electronics. The breakout has a new feature such as a new handlebar riser and stainless steel handlebar is located three quarters of an inch higher than the previous model for better comfort for the rider. A five gallon fuel tank has been fitted for better mileage which is five liters per hundred kilometers which gives you a tank range of about 350 kilometers. It is dependent on how you ride because you now have a 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 V-twin engine squeezing out 75 kilowatt at 4,700 revs per minute and 167 newton meters of torque. Power to weight ratio is 0.242 kilowatt per kilogram thanks to a weight rate of 310 kilograms. Harley Davidson's cruise control will come standard on the breakout as well as the Fat Boy, Fat Bob, Lowrider S, Lowrider ST and Heritage Classic models. Harley Davidson have launched the new freewheeler. This cruiser inspired trike has a striking blacked out styling that brings a hot rod theme about it. Where you would normally find bright finishes are replaced with black coated parts. The trike is fitted with a 114 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine producing 67 kilowatt at 4700 rest per minute. 165 newton meters of torque at 2750 rest per minute. Fuel consumption is 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers, which gives you a tank range of about 390 kilometers from a 22.7 liter tank. Other features offered are mini ape handlebars, an electric reverse gear, and a 56.6 liter waterproof storage trunk. The new Nightster Special is a middleweight bike with a unique style. 
This bike is set to attract the young generation. With this new model, you get a 975cc V-twin which is good enough for a power output of 67kW at 7500 rest per minute and 95Nm of torque at 5000 rest per minute. The Nysta has a 11.7 litre tank which gives you a tank range of about 240 km with a fuel consumption of 4.5 litres per 100 km. The fuel tank is located below the seat which improves the centre of gravity on the bike. Also fitted are some premium Brembo brakes with a 320mm disc in front with an axle mounted 4 piston radial caliper and a 260mm disc at the rear with a single piston caliper. If I had the money, my money would be going towards the street glide. I've always been a, a street glide fan, but uh, to be honest, you know. With this library that they, this uh, anniversary library that they've uh, offered now, I think anyone would uh, do just fine. Um, it's a pity that the the Road King has been uh, dropped, which has now been taken. The realms have been taken over by the Fat Boy, which is still a nice looking bike. Um, but I think uh, a, a Road King special with this library would actually look brilliant. Um, I would also maybe consider getting the the freewheeler. It's got a nice um, hot rod look about it from you know, from the 1960s, and uh, I really like that. But uh, I would still go for the street light. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for future content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.